on today's video we're gonna put a deer carcass out in the woods Hey there outdoor YouTubers. Well, like I said earlier, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put a deer carcass out in the woods and we're gonna put some game cameras over it. Now, the first thing that I need to do is hop on the snowmobile, take a buzz around the property and pick out a good spot. The snow conditions were just perfect for getting around in the woods. There was plenty enough snow where you could take a snowmobile pretty much anywhere you wanted, but there wasn't too much snow where you had to worry about getting stuck. So I was looking for an area that I could certainly access by snowmobile, something that maybe had a few deer trails going by it, um, the predators oftentimes will use these deer trails to travel around so it gives us a little better chance of a predator discovering this deer carcass if it's kind of in and around some deer trails. I also wanted to find a spot that was a little bit open but yet it certainly had some trees around it for cover. I also wanted to have some good trees to mount the game cameras to. And I also wanted to kind of have maybe a small bush or a small shrub kind of right where I wanted to put the carcass. And the purpose of that small tree or shrub or bush was to give me something to wire the bigger pieces of the carcass to. So then a coyote or whatever couldn't come along and just drag that carcass out of game camera view. So I rode around for a while looking for that spot that met all that criteria. As I was riding around, I also retrieved a few game cameras that I had out since deer season. I hadn't checked these cameras in over a month, so I was kind of curious to see what was on them. On one of the cameras there was a picture of a fox, so I'll kind of be curious to see how long it takes that fox to find our carcass. So once I found the right spot to put the carcass and I gathered up those game cameras, now it was time to go back to the house and get that deer carcass. I also had a roadkill partridge to throw in for good measure. Now this carcass 
is from a deer that my wife got last deer season. And fortunately for us, the temperatures were such that we could just leave that deer carcass in a garbage pail in my garage until now when we're gonna put it out in the woods. I also wanted to bring along some loppers for cutting any branches that uh, might be in our way. And I also wanted to bring that wire and some lineman's pliers for wiring those bigger chunks of that carcass down. And of course we had to grab the game cameras too. This is the small tree that I'm gonna wire the carcass to. And I did wanna kinda of cut it down and get the branches all cut off so it wouldn't impede the view of any of the game cameras that I'm gonna put up. Now, I did throw out a few freebies for the animals, a few leg pieces and a few fat pieces that any animal could easily carry away if they want to.
So there's the setup. We got the deer carcass, plus a roadkill partridge, and we got three cameras pointing right at it. So it'll be interesting to see what comes along. So stay tuned for future videos. Hopefully that'll show some interesting animals uh, on this carcass. But in the meantime, hey, remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.